Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about various capacitances associated with a semiconductor diode. These are the points covered in this tutorial. We know that the electronic devices are inherently sensitive to very high frequencies. In most of the cases, in the shunt capacitance effect can be ignored at lower frequency, as the reactance Xc equal to 1 divided by 2 pi Fc is very large, or open circuit equivalent. And for the high value of small f, the capacitive reactance becomes very small. In the forward bias case, the diffusion capacitance occurs due to the stored minority electrons and holes near the depletion region. So, this capacitance is also called as storage capacitance. The formula for diffusion capacitance is given by this equation 8b, where, capital T is the mean lifetime of charge career, ID, is the diode current, VT is the forward applied voltage. Here we can see that, the diffusion capacitance is directly proportional to the diode current. Now, let us consider the transition capacitance, here in this case the depletion region acts as a dielectric or insulator medium, and the p-type and n-type material has low resistance. In this way, the diode acts as parallel plate capacitor. Since the reverse bias voltage causes the majority charge carriers to move away from the depletion region, or the junction region, the thickness of the depletion region increases with the increase in reverse bias voltage. The formula for transition capacitance is given by CT equal to A epsilon by W, where capital A is the cross-sectional area. Epsilon is the permittivity of the dielectric or insulator. Capital W is the width of the depletion region. Now, let us consider the diode structure. The depletion layer width depends on various factors such as the doping concentration, forward bias or reverse bias voltage, etc. This depletion region acts as capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor, that, the capacitance is given by, capital C, equal to, epsilon A, divided by, small letter D. Figure 8B, shows the capacitance change depending on the bias and potential applied on it. Now, for the reverse bias case, as we increase the reverse bias potential, the depletion layer width increases, this means the value of, small d increases. So, from the capacitor equation, 8c, we have decrease in capacitance. Again for forward bias case, the capacitance effect is directly dependent on, the rate at which the charges are injected into the region, just outside the depletion region, this will result in increase in diffusion capacitance. This increased level of current result in reduced level of associated resistance, and the time constant, that is tau, is equal to RC, does not become excessive. This is very important in high speed applications. Thank you for watching. If you are benefited from this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.